Right now I'm working on a project and it's called the G-Prosper project. And it is a project that adds candid genes to an existing study. The existing study called the PROSPER study is an intervention study which uh, randomly assigns 14 schools to an intervention and 14 schools to a comparison situation. So um, this, uh, this basically brings in random assignment or a level of random assignment uh, to a behavioral science project. And that's a characteristic that a lot of animal studies have. They actually, they can randomly assign individual animals to different conditions. And this is not individual assignment, but it's assignment on the school level. Uh, and so what this means is that the characteristics of the kids have nothing to do with whether they receive the intervention. Uh, and this allows the environment, the intervention, to be looked at net of genetic influences. So there's no self-selection that could be guided by genes uh, into this intervention. Uh, the intervention uh, project is also um, strengthened by having a lot of really detailed information about uh, the context through which the intervention is supposed to actually operate, both the, um, both the, the family context and also the peer context. We have annual assessments of both of those. And the intervention has been found to be effective, but it really varies in how effective it is across people. So some people it's very effective for, other people it doesn't really have much of an impact, and other people not at all. So the question is, is this difference in the effectiveness of the intervention, is this driven or somehow modified by the uh, individual genes that people have? So to, to uh, explore this, we are collecting uh, DNA from a subgroup of people who have gone through the intervention and, and also through the control schools. And we're trying to determine if the intervention effects actually differ by specific genes. And so we're having um, that DNA genotyped, and um, we're going to start to analyze it relatively soon. As a first step, I think it tells people potentially what systems are involved and how interventions work. And also, there's a potential that if there is a lot of heterogeneity um, in terms of um, how these interventions work across different people in different ways. So some people it really affects peer processes, some people it affects family processes. It's, potential, uh, it's, it's potentially the case that you could actually design interventions to take this heterogeneity into account. I mean, we all look forward to a day where we can start to tailor interventions towards people's needs. You know, when you go to your doctor, they don't give you just anything. They try to understand you as an individual. And so in this way, we hope to understand more about individuals and how individuals react.